Traders, welcome back to another price session trading lesson. The structure of the market right now indicated bullish trend that played out with the break moved to a new extreme. We strongly push below EMA, which means I have to redraw a brand new bearish downtrend working lower, which we have. There is slight overshoot. Regardless, right now, we expect this downtrend, following trend line rule, to get new extreme eventually. So right now, my main focus is to see how price session is going to respect the EMA and if there's going to be a high probability setup. So prices are correcting a little bit. We are breaking high. We have a new low. There is no break below these bars lows. So this is technically just a first entry short. Now, had there been a second entry short, this actually would have been decent stuff to take. But because this is only first entry short, I cannot really sell. By the time you get a second entry short, it is a bullish bar. And as traders, the single bar must confirm our analysis and I cannot sell below bullish bar. When we have double bar entry, it didn't trigger below the bearish bar, so I cannot go short. It is getting a little bit sideways, but good thing is the EMA keeps rejecting. We trade it down, we need to get new extreme. You can draw the option a little bit tighter with the break in your extreme, or I can draw it a little bit wider, which fits a little bit better. And now we have a felt second entry long. So this is the highest high of the correction where I'm gonna reset the count. I'm counting for first entry long, pull back, second attempt to go long, failure if there's going to be a break below this bar low. Notice EMA keeps projecting every single time. There are two attempts to create new high, both failed, and this is first great high probability setup for the day. Great felt second entry long, this trade is going to work 8 or 9 times out of 10. Notice how EMA keeps projecting, the downtrend is new extreme, it ended up being a losing trade, but it's okay, this part of trading, nothing in trading is 100%. I took this setup myself. So right now you have to be patient because EMA flattened a lot. We're going a little bit sideways. So your analysis right now is a little bit distorted. So you gotta be patient. You gotta wait and let price action to develop because simply right now it is too unclear and too sideways. Okay, we're pushing below EMA and now it's starting to be obvious. Uptrend played out with the break in your high. Bullish correction played out. I can confirm this fact by seeing first leg up break second leg up market moves in pairs of two is perfect measure move downtrend still needs to get new extreme and we have push below ema which is telling me okay now the sellers want to see the new low the correction was just longer i'm gonna redraw a brand new downtrend and what's going through your mind this is the highest high of this entire bullish pullback i'm gonna reset the count and i'm gonna look for a first entry long pullback second entry long failure because the felt second entry long is going to be a high probability setup because uptrend played out we're breaking above EMA. Now, this would have been technically felt second entry long, but it never triggered. Had it triggered, you could have shorted here because two channels right now need to get new extreme. But simply, there was no break, so gotta be careful. And there was no solid second entry short, only an inside bar here. Now, downtrend played out with the break and the new extreme. So, this means even two channels played out. In fact, we can expect right now some correction phase. Notice. While we were waiting for new low, EMA already flattened and we have consistent price swings up and down. So it is very easy for me to predict the trend range because while we were waiting for new low, it already was trending sideways and we already have trend range established. This fact is important because this helps me right now to buy this triple test. One bounce, second bounce, third bounce, big bullish bar, two trends played out. And according to rules, range rules, you want to buy low. So this is great triple test to go long because you can trust the trend range, how flat it got, break a new extreme. So you expect some consolidation phase. Way past scalp, good, quick, easy scalp, but market traded lower. And this is important because you have to ask yourself why we didn't make it all the way up to this resistance. There is empty room here. This uptrend didn't reach new high fully. So this is concerning. This is already your first instinct right now to be leaning more bearish and not be so aggressive buying. Let's see what's going to happen. And we keep working over again. Okay, so now it's obvious. The bullish attempts to go back in the trend range are failing. We keep creating lower highs and lower lows. So there's a brand new downtrend being established. You can play two channels, either this slightly steeper one. Both channels are okay for the time being, or you can play this little bit wider one all you're focusing on is how many confirmations you have at the top and preferably at the bottom now when you're trading a trading market 
it is paramount for you to understand the strength of the trend. This is not a strong trend, this is medium to weak trend. So correction phase can be a little bit stronger. Okay, when the trend down is super strong and there are no pullbacks, you have to be selling aggressively, but this is slow downtrend, broad pullback, so it may take a while for market to correct. Now, while we are trading a trading market, notice every single time I'm drawing these short-term corrections because there's a push phase and correction phase and every correction phase has short-term channel inside. So this is right now a brand new uptrend working here. We're bouncing off the bottom of this trend chain line or if you're playing this downtrend, a little bit steeper one, it has overshoot, okay? So you definitely expect some pullback here. You cannot sell as long as this uptrend is in play. Every single time we draw these corrections, uptrend is clearly in play. You can see how swings are matching here. We created brand new low again. We broke this low, so I need to redraw a brand new uptrend working higher. Something like this. So I cannot sell again because a brand new correction phase is starting. There's a second entry short. I cannot sell. It's an inside bar. Uptrend is in play. It may get a second leg up. Be patient. This is weaker downtrend. And now what's happening is I'm going to zoom back. We already talked about the fact that while we are trading down, we have flat EMA, price swings up and down, a trading range established. Now a similar structure is forming. You can see EMA is flattening. We are starting to trend up and down. So I'm already going to predict once again, possible brand new trading range, something like this. Now, why is this important as price session traders? We use rules and these key levels and channels to predict direction bias of the market. The more rules you have on your side, the more you can trust what's going to happen. So not only right now, we trade it down and we expect new low of this downtrend. If there's going to be a break, by the way, you can also measure the first leg, project it, expect some second leg. So now we are breaking outside of the channel and you expect new low for the downtrend. That's according to rules. Broad to leg a pullback played out. Uptrend has new extreme. Notice it looks similar to what happened here. So you know there is no longer bullish momentum in the market. And you're going to combine it also with the trend range rule. You can see flat EMA. So you expect most breakouts to fail. And you expect for sellers to sell high. However, this is a fail breakout. But the signal bar is horrible. Bullish doji. So I can't really sell below this bar right here. Now, fortunately, the double bar entry, the low of this bar is very close to low of the previous bar. So you don't have to chase it or the scalp wasn't made, which makes this setup better. You know, you can ask the short here. I'm just going to mark it tad more aggressive. Honestly, if we have a better bar here, this is a great short. But because of the single bar, you know, not the greatest setup. But you have to use double bar entry here, waiting for this bearish bar. To like a pullback up, you're combining two rules. Trend range rules, most breakouts will fail. Downtrend needs to get new extreme. And this is how you're going to predict what's going to happen. You expect lower high here that never formed. No trigger below this bearish bar. Now we have second entry short above EMA, which is not a problem because we're at the trend line. Problem is, look at a single bar. Bullish doji again. It's getting a little bit squeezed. Had there been better bar, maybe, but not like this. And notice what is happening. We're breaking here and we have double top. Now, are you thinking about selling? Yes. We still need to get new low. We're still playing the trend range rules. Notice the EMA very flat. This is a trend range. Okay. Push down, trend range, push down, trend range. So you want to sell high. That's your goal as a price session trader. But you have to ask yourself, why we didn't make new low on this first push down? Why there are high lows here? So for this reason, you need to wait for some confirmation or push below EMA. And lo and behold, shortly after, there's the confirmation. One little attempt, your stop loss always goes one thing about the single bar. So your entry is still intact, by the way. You were able to ride this out. But this is now the confirmation of this setup. Great signal bar, identical. The resistance keeps holding. Sellers are going to sell here. And this is finally good low or high confirmation setup of the previous entry. We expect new low. Can we get a felt second entry long below EMA? There is no felt second entry long. Short and downtrend has a break new low that is not that important because we still need to get new low for the main downtrend. And main downtrend played out with the break and the new extreme. Now, this is felt breakout. Can you go long here? Notice I'm going to zoom back a little bit. Most breakouts will fail at least temporarily. 
downtrend played out, so there is a case to be made for bulls to go higher, yes. But you're always better off to be fading with the direction of the trend which was down. It is quite risky to be buying here, especially this is the low of the day important key level. So a lot of times you're gonna see the one more push lower to test low of the day, very common. For this reason, even though it worked for big scalp, I don't think we can go long here, it's against the main bias. You need to see some proven high low or first entry short here. And price session keeps trading lower. Okay, this is quite odd what's happening. And we keep trading lower again, and now we're above EMA. So, normally after breaking new extreme, we expect correction or reversal. We had quite strong push down to new low again. The reason why I'm not too excited about why the downtrend just yet, I'm gonna zoom back, is because notice it doesn't have any confirmations at the bottom here. It feels a bit too broad because remember we started with a trend range, up trend up, down to working lower. This is the low of the day. This is very weak downtrend. Had it been some stronger downtrend, we can focus on the bigger pattern, but you're better off right now to focus on just expecting consolidation until proven otherwise. You can always play the range rules. This is what I do because whether you have the range here or the downtrend, it still gives you the same bias, but the big downtrend feels a bit too early just yet. So be patient, and by the way, there was a decent high low here, quite far from the EMA. More advanced trader can consider taking this high low because you're below the low today, you're far from the EMA. This is more advanced setup, and you're most likely going to pull back. Very similar to what happened right here when you're bouncing off the trend channel line. Okay, market keeps working higher. We have a break in extreme, we have a break in high, downtrend is working lower, we're back up. So right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to project a brand new trend range, something like this. Because you expect after new low, correction or reversal. And this is helping you to not be thinking about buying prematurely. And now we have second entry short and even the wider uptrend played out with the break and the new extreme like this. This setup is very similar to what happened around this area, new low. First entry short, second entry short. Now problem here is even though we have flat EMA and you're selling high, we don't have confirmed downtrend like we had here. Every single time you combine the more rules, the more confident you are. Here this is just hanging here, the second entry short. So it is way more aggressive and not that easy. Developing trader should be patient here because you know there is no clear bearish bias just yet. Lower high here, but it is above EMA. The tail here at the bottom, we gotta be careful. Felt second entry long didn't trigger, unfortunately. By the time I get a felt second entry long, it is above EMA. Now you can make a case for most breakouts that trend and just will fail, of course. But you know, why are you making these high lows? We can't really sell just yet. And this would have been great setup. Lower high breakout pullback. Most breakouts will fail, break higher, failed, break lower, fail temporarily, breakout pullback. But it didn't trigger. Had there been trigger, this would have been great felt second entry, excuse me, great lower high breakout pullback that never formed. Okay, we're breaking here. So this is just a long area of development, area of indecision. Just be patient because there's just no good price action. You know, the range is established. We traded down the entire day, so it is definitely confirming the bearish bias. You're thinking more about selling the whole time, not really about buying because up played out with the break new high. So you just need to time the entry correctly. But nothing is really offered. Great. No entry here. There's a new high, first entry long, pullback. But there is no break below. Had there been break below and to get a clean felt second entry long, this could have been actually a felt second entry long, which would have been great to have to take. Look at the bearish bar. New high, first entry long. Yeah, but technically the first entry long never had a pullback break below. So this is not really felt like an entry long technical, unfortunately. And now it's getting pretty much way too late and market is about to close. This was a weaker version of the downtrend, weak to medium downtrend. You can see the pullbacks are strong. Basically, there's a brand new trend range being established. And this is a good lesson what to expect when you're trading a structure like this, because as a price session trader, you always want to have as many rules aligned to trust your analysis. And you can see we have bearish bias working lower. And every single time you have a trend range, the key levels established, you're thinking about selling high because the bullish trend played out and it is just about time 
before the bearish buys are going to kick in again so look for these key levels pay attention to the structure the market is telling you every single thing you need to know push down train range push down train range push down another train range overall quite a slow day but slow days are okay because we have a lot of time to think about our decisions and how the trade is going to set up so i like slow days it still offer plenty of setups plenty of bars and overall decent day so i hope you had a good trading day i hope you find the video educational and we're going to talk to you next time good luck with your trading